It's this A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, a place where you get to be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kiki with A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, a place where you get to become an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. We have Eric in the studio and Tracy J in the studio. What up, guys? Everybody doing all right? No. All right. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Maybe. We, we... <laughs> Like, I'm doing no, just fine. Okay. I'm doing enough. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, I'm going to get back to these in two seconds, 2.5 seconds, because I need to update the audience about what happened within this last week. Why don't I see episode six? Episode six is going to be dropping. We're going to drop two episodes at once, our six and seven. Episode six is what we recorded. We did a not so merge episode with Gia Worthy. Those of you who have been with us for a while, we've done this before. We did this last last season. And so we've decided to keep this tra- tra- tradition alive, excuse me. And the name of the podcast is I Don't Know About That with Silent Podcasts. So um, we did it with them. So you're going to have the audio version of that episode dropping at the same time as our episode seven. All right. So Eric and Tree. Tree says she ain't doing good. Mm. I don't know why she ain't doing good. Cause don't get pregnant. It's not fun. <laughs> Tired boss. Nah, I'm just playing. Y'all go reach the world. I want everybody to suffer with me. Everybody no. right now. Go get pregnant. <laughs> if I, well, that's if a little I bit can... impossible for me, right. but go get someone pregnant. Excuse me. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> that would be the contribution. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, because I got plans and I can't. I can't be held back. Ain't, but ain't that how it be? Men be having plans. They only want to mess up their plans so they delete a woman with the baby. That sound about right. All right. All right. Yikes. Dead loading. No, Dang. <laughs> I never thought I'd be. No. <laughs> like, where does deadbeat spirit come from? Because you ain't had one and your daddy ain't have one. <laughs> um, but I'm doing well because I passed my comprehensive exam. So he's graduating for real. And come on here. Uh, yes, master's degree, right? Lodi. Uh, come on now. What do you plan to do once you are finished with school? You see, I got the microphone. I'm holding it up to your mouth. Uh, right um, well, <laughs> I have plans to, you know, maybe do something very, very, very fun. And oh. depending on if that happens or not, we'll see. If not, I have a couple of job opportunities that I'm going to pursue. So doing something fun. Huh? Mm-hmm. Come on here, multiple streams of income and opportunity. Oh. <laughs> I'm like you're trying to get pregnant. Absolutely not, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even care. I didn't even hear what she said, so I'm just chilling. Just mess. Oh my god. Ooh. Mess. Per usual. Per usual. Yes. A fun <laughs> opportunity that involves getting paid and hey. living out my dreams. That part. Potentially. And so buying my see. baby some pamphlets. Absolutely. Get all the pamphlets she needs. <laughs> That's hilarious. What you up to, Kiki? Chill. I don't know. I just been chilling. I felt like I need a vacation away from vacation because I was on vacation for a minute, about nine days or so, and now I'm back and mm. I'm on vacation still. I know that's oh. right in here. Oh, up oh. here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, I know. Eric is like, oh, for real? No, here <laughs> in the mind, I am still on vacation. Okay. But otherwise, that's the best one. vacation. What you say? You need a vacation from the vacation. Yes, immediately. I think a study needs to be done about that because, like, you go on vacation and you got to adjust uh, real quick back. Yes, to, you know. I feel like those need to be like mental health days in between. Yeah, so you know, I get to take day. vacation and then sick leave for mental health days. Then I can extend that out because those would be my downtime. See? Yeah, yeah. I feel you like you think like me, and then get two <laughs> reset days. But then <laughs> people like me, I would just stay on vacation extra two. <laughs> And extended. Oh, I can stay right. an extra day. Yeah, and that's what we do because that's what that's we exactly do. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, man, I'm tired. You can't I'm act right. right. That's the no, problem. We hey, about as bad hey. as the folks. At with least we check. At least oh we still work. <laughs> oh, that's funny to me. Mm. You know, I wanted to update the view, the viewers and the listeners about one other thing. Mm. I just remembered the mole. Yes. As you can see, we did not have the final episode of the mole. We didn't cover, have a specific episode that was the finale of the mole because we gave you all the 
um, interviews with Samara Joy, as well as Armol herself, um, <laughs> Joy Armo. Schweitzer, right? Yes. Yes, Joy Schweitzer. So please go back and watch those episodes. And watching those episodes, you will learn, if you have not watched the <laughs> episodes actually on, on Netflix, um, you will learn that Armol was Kasi, which we knew. We knew. We, we called it. <laughs> which mm. we knew. And the winner was Will. And we were all wrong. We were very wrong <laughs> about that. Because hey. our winner, who's our winner? Joy. 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 <laughs> that part. But you know what? Will use Kasi to get that money. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me just leave it right there. Allegedly. Go back. Look. Go listen to our interview with Baby, Joy, and go reading between lines. That's what I will. This is my uh alleged thought. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll use Kasi to win that money. And I think Kasi, I don't know, I don't want to say mm. tipped him off, but like you the mole, <laughs> we'll stop. Because you know, it makes me wonder real quick. I know we're not gonna be on here this long, <laughs> but it do make me wonder why are you laughing at me. The thing that makes me wonder. Why are you laughing at me? Nah, go ahead. Um, I don't forgot. What was about. Oh, her being the actual mole, you would think that she had, had like Obama security around her 24 7. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To prevent mm -hmm. for somebody to be close to, to prevent well, I, that fraternizing. Yeah, I don't know. It just, wow. I don't know. Something's weird about that part to me. Some in the milk ain't clean. Ain't. Hmm. <laughs> so you, and you remember when Samara said they really weren't supposed to be interacting with each other. So mm. yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I'm putting all two and two and three outside and of like the the you know their hangout moments and stuff, but right. like at the hotels and stuff. Why why y'all why folks hanging out? Right. And how mm -hmm. you have the capacity to have full blown alliances, and that's just in general because if every and I guess one of the reasons why they could not um, hover. The mole too much because it would be a dead giveaway that she was yeah. mole. So I or, guess I just talk myself out of that. Well, no, or it's just like, well, I get that too, but it's like too. How were you being the mole, but you only sitting on, you know, you and one person lap the whole time, not literally, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, and you're not talking and communicating with other people, <sighs> and that person wins the game too. <coughs> <coughs> Moving right along, <laughs> another television show that we've been discussing. Love is blind. Our love is blind. 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 <laughs> da, 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 love Love is blind. We finally got um what three more episodes? Mm -hmm. We got three more episodes this week. And um I'ma just give y'all a basic recap. Basically, uh Bartiz um ain't um, y'all know the word I want to put after that. Uh, Nancy, <laughs> hey, beep, 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 beep. Nancy, girl, I love you. She is such a, a beautiful spirit. She's just so happy go lucky. But I need her to get some self esteem because and what Barbie between is lines and around her. her. And I'm looking like, girl, are we are we looking at the same man? She's like, I just he he's like, Nancy, baby, stand up, because baby, Nancy, you. If, if, if you listening to this, girl, you got it all. Like, you really got it. You doing yes. what you're doing. You got the money. You got a loving family. You don't need that man. At now, all. we don't know if they said yes or no, but Lord Jesus, I hope they said no. I don't care which one of them said no. Whichever <laughs> one uh, may it not be a marriage, that's that's what we need. That's what yes. need And then, um, let's see, Brandon and Alexa, um, we don't know about their marriage either. Wait, I guess I should just talk about who the only marriage we do know about. Uh -huh. So yeah, everything well, else was I'm talking about like, or... yeah, they was yeah. really ashy, and they only gave us one proposal. Like y'all could at least gave us, I mean, one um wedding, but y'all could at least gave us two. But um, we saw uh Raven and SK get married, and I'm gonna be very real. I mean, not get married, I guess they got to the altar and uh. <laughs> SK was like, I do not. not. He was laughing I before that, too. He was holding his laugh. I said, not that I do not. You should just say no. I Maybe don't. Not <laughs> but I gotta be very real. I really thought Raven was gonna be the one to say no. Yeah. <clears throat> because of, um, hmm, let me not say that. Okay, I'm not gonna say the comment I don't wanna say. 
I'm gonna say that for later. I think we talked um, about that in the chat. Yes, that. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I was very surprised by that. Raven, she looked gorgeous. She looked beautiful. Um, but I'm be very real. I don't, Raven was like, I was gonna say yes. I'm be very real. I don't think she was gonna say yes either. No, let me tell you, I, I she. Do. I don't think so. I do. Um, I don't. You think know. she was gonna say yes? But I do. I do. No, but she went first. She did no, not. She didn't. He went she didn't get. She give some have words. She went word. She had her vows first. But, but the I knew get- was SK first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought the words were like an indicator that the way it was edited, it seemed like the words were an indicator that she was going to say yes then. She was going to say yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think she was going to say yes. And just to see like how most most like even his mom, like, first of all, can we just shout out to SK's mom? Because she oh, was really so was sweet real she was and amazing. She was a spirit during that entire time. And his mom, did y'all catch? She was, she was like, I do. She would tell when it was time for yes, SK to say, she was like, I do. Was like, I, like, and she, she was I don't like, know what happened. Been waiting on you to get married if you don't say I do. <laughs> and I do truly believe that she loves Raven and Raven said she was like I love you and thank you for being so welcoming and stuff and so I I just love that that their relationship and they I think yeah, they still have one because she posted her on her store on her like IG page that's beautiful um so <laughs> I was really taken aback to know that SK was the one that said no like you said at first I would have thought it was gonna be Raven just because of like how you know apprehensive she seemed to be but the more I heard her talk and her always saying that you know SK is the first one that made me cry. Like the only one to make me cry in the, in the pods. And he doesn't want me to conform. She was like, I'm not no housewife. These other girls, they want to be housewife, rip and run, sit at the house, do the kids. She said, that's not who I am. And he accepted me for that. And all these other guys, that's what they want. <laughs> um, not Eric. Not Eric is a Raven apologist. I didn't think I would be because, you know, I hadn't watched when y'all watched the first, you know, when the first batch. And so when I did finally see her doing Jumping Jacks, doing Oh Boy, who I don't feel sorry for no more. So Jumping Jack all the way through. it, um, And just seeing how she was, I just like, oh, this girl. No, I can't deal with it. But I think I became a fan of Ravens when Bart- when they started meeting each other and they met at the pool. And Barty started trying to tell her, oh, you so beautiful. I knew we would have been a match made in heaven walking to the bar and she was like "Mm mm-hmm yeah Mm -hmm. Uh uh-huh and she was like nah brother you 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 now you see me now look now i'm hot you see that i'm hot you want me now (laughs) but back then we was in the pods you have to let me go back then you did (laughs) on me now i'm hot hot. they all on me listen exactly we do not own the right phrase i think that's when i became you know for her, because at first I was like, nah, sis, because she was like, oh, yeah, I feel the same way. I was like, no, you just saying that because he told you no. But so she got her lick back <laughs> when it came to after the five. So I was like, you know what? I can get I can get with it. Who's your, know, who's your favorite people so far? I, none I of them. Interjecting. You say none of them? Eric seemed like somebody took, got his heartstrings. Who got your heartstrings? Um, I don't have no heartstrings, but like I Raven. love the idea of Raven and SK. <laughs> Is it just me? I don't. Me I didn't either. at first. I really didn't. I y'all. didn't at first, and in the middle, and at the end. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I, I'm coming. Did, uh, I'm gonna act like Raven in this situation. I, there are aspects of Raven that I do not like. That and, might be why, and because I, they're similar to me, and how I have responded in relationships. Aren't you says y'all the same? Look, there are very similar things there when it comes to relationships and. I could. She made it very clear out the gate that I want this type of lifestyle. This that's what I'm used to. At least she was straight up. So she wants the SK plus the life. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, and so as soon as an SK plus the life comes along, you think she's gonna be thinking about SK pod dates? No. But here's the thing. Especially even if they, I'm talking if they, even if they don't get married, da 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 da. I I do not think that SK SK was an option. Look, it wasn't me, a choice to me. Like it just, it just felt weird to me. This is my thought. I think Raven um, ended up wanting to have a man that wines and dines to take care of her. Um, basically, reiterating that sugar baby lifestyle, allegedly. Um, SK, I think, even though he comes from certain traditions, where like in Nigeria, there are certain. Um, families in certain areas that do set up arranged marriages. So that was the thing that threw me. 
you know, like this is pretty much it, not pretty much it is an arranged marriage. And so I figured it would work out. And I think when SK, there was a situation where he was having a conversation with Rev, and he's like, I'm very traditional, but there are a lot of ways where um, I'm untraditional. And I think he literally, I think he wants to be in a marriage where he's in love with somebody. And even when he said, I had to weigh my options on whether losing Raven was worth it, he pretty much was like, bye. <laughs> bye he, I, I, I mean, of course he's attracted to her, they're attracted to each other, but I just don't think he was just like, I can't see this woman raising my kids. I can't see this woman um, holding me down for two years while I'm at school. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why he ultimately, and I think it was very easy for him to say no. I think he felt that in his gut. Oh it, yeah. It, it was no the, the move, like her not wanting to compromise moving in. I get it too. Honestly, like I said, I was saying no too. Cause that's, you got to uproot your business and your life and your friends to move to California because you decided to come on the show knowing you got to go to school for two years in a whole nother state. Um, now I got to change my life for that. Granted, I know we supposed to be married, but that would be, that's a hard ask, but she should have been compromised. Like her wanted to pay him to still pay them bills. That was ridiculous. Um, but also it's the fact too, for him, that family thing, the fact that her family wasn't as supportive as they would have liked. I think that was a huge, huge factor for him as well. Um, yeah. and had he even met them? I'm no. going to skip over that episode. Oh, okay. no. They didn't even come on camera, Joe. Cause that's the thing too. Or outside of camera. Not even a FaceTime, not a phone call. Cause let me tell you, if, if I was in the same situation, if I was SK, BK, Cody, <laughs> uh, Brennan, <laughs> whoever, if I ain't meet your family, bro. I'm up. What's up? Like something is really up because like, even if they don't want to be meeting the parents, like, I can still have a conversation with them, you know. And that is a perfect segue to talk about Zenep, Zenep, and oh. uh, Cole because Please. she oh, ain't yeah, met his family you. either. She talking about they follow her on Instagram and all this stuff, but won't Facetime or won't call Weird. her. Weird behavior. Baby, like, I'm sorry. Like, okay, let me talk about what happened. In the episode. Okay, I'm with. Um, I'm with her when she, she was talking about this that chicken one seasoned. I was like, it was it. <laughs> but when when she got to talking about like, oh, when you drink white wine, you have to have this type of glass. I want to be like, your hand, your hand is warming. The I'm like, girl, you <laughs> not relax, baby. I would drink this out the bottle. What? I'm at home. Y'all know I doing? drink my apple cider at the bottle. Look, baby, the bottle at home. or over pour it over some ice. Oh my I don't God. care. I, I was, I was. You know who she need to be in a relationship with? Raven. They oh was. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but she just she was doing too much. Like Cole, yes, Cole is his name. Cole, yes. he is very immature, and I do agree he needs to grow up He's in a situation. But it's like they're both on two extremes. He's very immature, and she is very what's the opposite? Rigid. Too mature. <laughs> I don't know. She the most. He does the little. She does the most. And but, there's like they need to meet in the middle, and it's just not working. But you know what? I think the therapist in me, and it just came to me. She hasn't had control in her life. She's lost both her parents at young age, and so mm. many things have been out of her control. So her this rigidity that she may have, it therapist. could it not stem from her wanting to assume some type of control over things that she can make go the way she desires it to be. Um, and so that's what came to me. Like I gotta control something because my life has been out of my control all this time. And so these small details, if I can control them, that'll give me comfort. You know. Did she ever say how her parents passed? Did um, they pass at the same time? No. So oh, okay. when she was 13 or 15, her dad died from, they were in some something on the water in a boating accident mm -hmm. or something. And then a few years later, like her mom died when she was 18 from some type of terminal illness, I believe. Mm. I mean, that's tough. Yeah. She okay. just her story. I was over here crying. I was like, "Oh my god!" Listen, and you know me. I fast forward through it. I, mean, I, I right. I didn't know nobody. I, I know. Look, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I mean, I know. I know her parents have passed. You know, that's sad. But y'all, I, I, I just nerves. and you know, I don't care if it's survivor. Listen, I'm not let's stand through. Listen, it. I got no tragedy in my life. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't sometimes, sometimes I don't want to sit through everybody else's. <laughs> No, I tell me that. what you want, but sometimes you just like, okay, I don't need this today. Like when it I see the chickens rolling, 
Oh yeah, then you so start thinking about your with. life. You start thinking about like, oh Lord Jesus, let me open up my Bible because like, look or turn on some commercial some um, cartoons, <laughs> child, to <laughs> my mind before I go. Because you're be thinking about it those, all those night. comfort shows. Yeah. Oh Lord, I need a therapist. I know I'm not Lord. the only one. <laughs> no it, therapy. It's real. Yeah, yeah. It's real. But, um, Who else made it to the altar? Um, trees. We don't know. Oh uh, well, everybody. So the other couple. So everybody went to the altar, from what it looks like in the. Spliced. Yeah, so what it looks like in the preview, off. but you know, in the preview for the, there's only one episode left. Um, in the preview for that, it makes it look like Alexa and Brendan, um, are having some issues, but I think they're gonna get married. Yeah, for sure. But okay, I listen. Alexa has been one of my favorites. Um, but this episode, I have some words for Alexa because Raven pointed out how when they were asking like who would be like the worst wife, and she was like, "Oh, girl, I said you," and she was Raven was kind of taken aback. She was like, "I, I probably would have said me too, but like, why would you say me and tell me?" And then she was like, "Is there something wrong with me?" Like, and then so she started kind of going in her head. I was like, "Oh, dang!" Mm-hmm. So she had some like issues, you know, within herself. And so I was like, that's kind of rude that she was just the way she said Oh, yeah. Definitely rude. But then, when Raven tried on her, and I was like, it was just towards Raven. It's like, when Raven tried on her dress, she was like, oh, Cinderella after hours. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> did she do that? Yes, about Raven and her know. dress. I still don't like Raven. <laughs> and I I'm like, that's oh, yeah. Little... That was shady. Very much. Not the... <laughs> Okay. Lord have mercy. So shade. she so she went down your ladder, huh, Eric? Mm-hmm. Being shady boots. And Being I'm going to say like now, she is not uh, uh, <laughs> the representation for the thick girls out here. She is not the plus size representation. Uh-huh. That now she got thought. kicked out. <laughs> no, because y'all told me that she was. And when I saw her, I'm like, uh, I kind of think she, she's. I'm like, she's the thick girl. No, she's a plus size girl. I, listen, I was listening to Kiss My Cheeks um, on YouTube. That's the YouTube channel. And she had a guest on there and they were talking about Love is Blind. And she was like, Where is the plus size representation? And it was like, I know they saying Alexa, but where her stomach at? Where the stomach at? I don't see no stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they were like, she's the acceptable thick, if yeah. you will. Yeah. Because right. we seen okay. some other women like from last season they show that was a little more thicker than her. That's the more not so acceptable form. I know that, what you're talking about. She didn't even make it out the dates, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and to even talk about that too, let's get what they had. These other beautiful black women on there that didn't make it to the, you know, the past the pods. And Lauren from I mean, anti black love is blind. Right. Lauren from Love is Blind, the star her and Cameron, she mentioned it. She was like, Listen, I know. Mm-hmm. That it gets pushed, you know, that people have certain people have to go through for the sake of the show. But she was like, We can't force push no black women with their stories through through the show. That part. Like I bet you it would be way more entertaining. We would it just would be a whole vibe and and not I mean, the same just imagine, uh, personalities. Hold on, what, who was that? Where um Ah, uh, where they was at the pool and she threw the ring in the pool. Oh, Diamond. Come on. <laughs> that was like Man. one of the best moments. Like moment he ate her, her up. I'm sorry. He was I'm like, sorry. I love Fix your wig because it's been sliding since Listen, <laughs> We are not gonna get Chloe and uh Jonathan to, to giving a scene like that. That was that was pure chaos. And was I, was, chaos. I, I loved it. I loved you it. can't script nothing it. like that. And then her dance saying the Beyonce song while she walking <laughs> out, like you cannot get any better oh than that. But also it brought to me, I kind of even just like on the like I want to see more res- representation, I felt bad for SK because when they would be meeting up and the guys would be hanging out, he kind of felt like the lat, you know, the out, you know, the man on the outs because they all find it and they all the oh. and it was just like eh, and he just sitting there like I don't even I wanted to y'all I talking about that. Go ahead. When they went to their little bachelor party or whatever, and mm-hmm. they had them chasing them cows, SK said, Hell no, nah, I ain't going to <laughs> He said, I don't feel the need to prove. He said, right. No. But, but see, also, you they're going back to that? Raven. They ca- wait, hold on. They catering to them white men because how many black men, you know, want to go out there and play with cows? Come on. And ripping around, he said, Yeah, <laughs> ripping and running. Not me. I'm not ripping and running. I'm definitely not going out there. And it stank. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
he said, I don't feel the need to prove this for my singlehood or no. to be the there's no ceremony. He was like, and I'm not going out there chasing no calves. Uh, but it's, I knew he was saying no to you. <laughs> but see, but here's the thing. Like, it connected to me to Raven when she also was like, these girls, she's like, I'm too old for this. I'm too grown for this. What they got going on, yeah. they yeah. good for them. But she's like, I'm not doing all that. I'm yeah. not here for this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, look at them. They both, I thought that was just funny that they See, both yeah. had the same mindset. I thought Raven was being sedated in that moment because don't you be doing stuff late at night in the bottles? No. Okay. I thought that was somebody else. No, that was her. <laughs> she just a bottle girl. She's not a stripper. Uh, I didn't think she was a stripper. She's she was a lady of the night, right? Stop. No. That's not what they That's not what they Oh, I thought, what they that's oh, I thought bottle she bottle. was a lady of the night. Yeah, you thought, thought she, she was, was a lady. Yeah. Okay. Well, she, I guess she's I cow. guess she's used to more exquisite. Um yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Survivor 43 oh, is on and popping. Yeah, oh. let's get to the So I'm going to pass the mic to Eric so you can get us up to speed. We'll talk hmm. about what's happening. Well, and say talk about our frustrations. <laughs> We're frustrated because, and this is why, you know, that's why they say be careful what you would wish for because you may receive it. We've been asking for some jump off, pop off all season, but this is not what we were talking about. The fact that, and we'll get into it at the three folks on the chopping block this episode where all the three black men in the show yeah. what's this about look what's in a backstory about? in a backstory to support it. it's like what made no sense <laughs> no sense hmm. so i'm just i'm just and it just and again like i said we're gonna get to it but i'm just i'm just frustrated i'm tired because here we go we get mariah the black woman booted first boot no explain no fake backstory like like oh she do we could da, 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 da. wrong but she's gone we get no story from that and then okay NECA deserved it <laughs> she's the only one that was the only accurate to- <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be real like NECA could have win yeah. um, cause the, the tribe kept was going up from there so yeah. right and so I don't and know now- who NECA voting for stop the NECA bro. coming up I'm sorry <laughs> good that this NECA this whole time I thought you were talking about um uh, in tribal council. I thought you were talking about in survival tribal council. <laughs> Annoying. Oh, um, man. <laughs> and so <laughs> and so we're like, okay, and as soon as we get to the merge, the first three people that are like I said on the chopping block are Dwight, Ryan, and James. Let's we'll get into it, but that's I'm gonna leave y'all with that. It sounds like they have something in common. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what it's it. Right. Funny. Not funny. Not funny. Ha ha. Funny. Weird. Hmm. Because. Yeah. So we got. I'm pull up my little notes here. Come on, notes. We got Janine come back from Tribal Council when her girl Ellie got taken out and she was blindsided. What well, chin? And <laughs> I'm glad her chin has healed because. <laughs> People were like, oh, da, 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 her chin. Maybe like, they should have been gave us some Neosporum because I was maybe so that chin been looking rough for eight episodes. Of looking at that chin. To the or point where I was like, was she born with it? I didn't realize it happened. I don't know if it was show. the skin or it was. It was it were looking rough. Oh my gosh. But somehow it healed very fast because it mm-hmm. is not there no more. Um, and so she's coming back and she's kind of going through people and like. I'm just, I don't know what, you know, and she just distraught. And so she started to use it as her advantage. She was like, you know, I listen, Ellie was my girl, but I'm trying to move forward in this game. So however I can be an asset, let me be an asset. So I don't be the next target pretty much. And so I was like, okay. It was a lot. Cause it's like, don't make a big deal of it. And then it won't be a big deal. And I guess that's what people were kind of telling her. Like Noel was like, I've been in your exact same position. So don't worry. I came out stronger for it when I lost Justine. So you just keep pushing through and your game will be good for it. Anyways. And then the discussion moves towards Gabler. And so Owen and Dwight are talking about Gabler and they're like, I don't know. You know, Gabler is a, he's a wild card. We don't know if we can trust him um, based on how he threw Baca under the bus as soon as he got the chance and aired out all their drama. And so they're discussing him. And then in that same light, you know, you have Cody and Gabler coming together and they talking and um, 
they talk about the idol. Like, oh, yeah, I can't use the idol, but I'm glad I got to keep it. I can take it home to my daughter. Fun fact, they can't even take that stuff, which is stupid. But So was he lying about him not being able to use the idol? He just did not use it because he didn't feel like he needed to. But is his idol really gone? Yes, it is gone. Oh, okay. That was he had to use it at the very next tribal that he went to. Oh, so okay. I thought this he was been just one. A ro- doing a roost or something. Mm-mm, no, this was real. Yeah. So that's gone. And so in the midst of this conversation, oh, before we get there, I said, okay, blood. Dwight walking in with all red, red shirt on, red hoodie, red pants, red everything. Flamed up. And I ain't still one. Right. <laughs> okay. Let me look for, for our viewers, our listeners. You can't hear me. You can't see me, but I'm I'm throwing up my wanna be blood gang sign. Oh Jesus Lord. Uh I'm I'm located in Dallas if anyone needs to find me. Um what? <laughs> if they wanted to find me. I am crying. So you mean Chicago. Oh my god. Chirac. That's what I mean. Dallas Chirac. That's what we call it from from oh, my hood. I am weak. I didn't Dallas Chirac. Oh my and while I'm talking, what what I now I got on red. I just realized that is who that's even more hilarious. <laughs> Rip the city. Anyways. Deep ditched. Oh man. Uh so after that discussion, they get tree mail and Jeff is like, first of all, I understand. He was like, if you have tribal idols, they are no more. They have no more power. Didn't understand it because everybody got tribal idols. So maybe they were just meaning the ones that Gabriel had, whatever. Uh, and so after that happened, he's like, oh, and you will have pairs for this next immunity challenge. It's always a setup to me when they do these pairs. Yeah, it's a setup. Because I'm like, why are we doing pairs? When we get to the immunity challenge, that could have been an individual challenge. And at that, so they go to drawing rocks because they couldn't figure out who they wanted to pair with. Don't know how painting the rocks, how they figured that out, but they did it. And how did they have time to paint the rocks, let the rocks dry, (laughs) do the correct designs on the rocks? I'm like, something is weird here. Because you would have to do six different sets of right rocks and to make two because mm-hmm. ma- two would have to match right and so it was like did you put one and one two and two <laughs> three and th- you know what i'm saying like right but so they did that and they get their pairings or whatever i'm not going through all their pairings um but we get to the challenge and there's a three it's three stages to this challenge and it's an eliminate and that's another one why are we eliminated folks why is it an elimination portion to this? Right. If you don't finish, you just don't finish and move on to the next day. They just that's just the way it should be, like it is in any other challenge that they have. If you get left behind in the nets, you just get left behind in the nets. You know what production is? They're they're um we are being punished because we said we tired of this. You know, everybody <laughs> was tired of that. Them other twists that they had uh-huh. where they go off to the thing and the hourglass. And, you know, we had talked about it on the other show. Right. Um, shout out to Danny. Mm-hmm. But don't punish us with these uh-huh. little you prolong it. Like, why are you prolonging this? And why are you eliminating people along the way? You don't want these all of these people to make it, do you? Hmm. That's the thing. Like that's suspicious. Why? That's <laughs> right. weird. <laughs> right. You or what, Doctor Umar? You don't find that suspicious, right? You don't find that suspicious, like exactly. And that was the first thing. Although I had seen spoilers because I didn't watch it when it aired last night, which I'm kind of getting accustomed to, kind of liking not watching it live, and I can just watch it all in one sitting without the uh the commercials. Mm. But even with the spoilers, I'm looking at it, and I was like, that was my first immediate thought. Was like. Mm-mm. Cause what y'all doing? What y'all trying to change up? In- what fat y'all trying to trim off these this tribe? Exactly. Um, and so the challenge is three stages. The first stage is crawl. One person has to crawl through the net, and once your, that person gets through, then the next person got to get through, and then y'all have to dig up these planks. And the first four out of the six groups that come back with the planks, they move on to the round two. The other two groups get eliminated. And so pretty much everybody gets through except for Noel and Janine. Then babies was wrapped up like a Maybe. caterpillar in a cocoon. They could not like get they up out of snakes <laughs> trying to shed they top coat <laughs> and couldn't get out. And I mean, they was twisted up, tied up, wrapped up, sewed up in that net and could not get out. And so that eliminated them 
in Sammy and Jesse um, from the competition. And so we move on to the next phase. So they get their planks and they have to build the bridge from one plank, one platform to the other using those planks that they got. And Dwight and Cody immediately get through. They moving on to the next phase. And I am so distraught because how things probably could have went differently. What if, if freaking Carla and Cassidy get to the end and they drop their darn? Yeah. No, Carla failed. Carla failed yes. right at the end, trying to move too fast. Jeff uh-huh. needs to hush because like, he messed them up. What made Carla is. do is fall? <laughs> she is, bless her heart. I love Carla. Though. And Jeff Hello. messed him up. He's talking about, who going to get it? Oh, Carla, almost there, almost there. Don't drop your plane. Don't drop. And she fall. I was like, dang, Jeff, hush. Right. Man, and we then, needed her to get her right? in. Cause I was like, cause they were the only women left. So it was them. It was Carla and Cassidy versus Dwight and Cody, Gabler and um, Owen and Ryan and James. These, the ladies was in it to win it. Okay. And they was getting across. And if Joe, Jeff would have just shut his big mouth, I believe that they could have stayed focused and got themselves across, but she falls. So they would have to start over. It's too late for that. Ryan and uh, James gets it in and they, they get across drops the platform and here come gabler and owen roll down he barrel rolls down gabler does like jack and jill down the hill and make it to the end <laughs> and so i'm like i thought your back was hurting <laughs> you, been, you was laying down the whole first half <laughs> man <laughs> you know what I was like two and three and then he just sat down for like three episodes and now he like yeah i'm here and it's funny because he mentioned that that's his strategy. Like he's like, I all right, I didn't took out Ellie, chopped that off, and got that out. I'm like the gator, got what I. But now it's time for me to go back up under the water and kind of chill. And I was like, not you, kind of got a good strategy. Not you got what you wanted last week, Listen. and things are starting to turn in your favor. Uh, look, I'm hmm. trying to tell you, I <laughs> I keep saying, watch out for this man before he pop up and win. They better hurry up and get rid of him, or he gonna Listen. sit down there in the final trial to cancel. Tell they, stories. They better get rid of him because I don't know. Because not me liking Gabler now. Like, what's going on? Low key, I was Listen. like. <laughs> but before we get to me us liking him, I was like, when it came to the final part of the challenge, so it's Dwight and Cody versus Owen and uh, uh, Gabler, and they have to do the endurance count where they gotta hold on the ropes. Is keep this bucket full of water, or whatever, up, and it holds twenty five percent of their pre weight that they came in weight, the weight they were twenty five percent of the weight they were when they came in here, um, and so they have to hold it up. And if you obviously, if you let it go and it crashes, you out. And my first immediate thought, Streets, I don't know if you you were listening when we were talking about how we just felt like this whole thing was a setup from the jump when they did put them in pair for one, and then yeah. for two when they started, it was elimination based comp. Like if you didn't make it to the next portion, set up. Why we didn't just have this endurance comp individuals? Yes. Why that wasn't that just the the default? Because I wonder <laughs> if they things could have been a man to get an um immunity. That was mm. a man comp. I mean, and they said women I ain't look, I ain't seen the season that the women have won. They said women have won this that comp that bucket challenge before, but how they had to crawl through the nets and get across the platforms with the planks on top of doing that, probably not. Probably not. Uh-uh. I don't not that I recall. <laughs> Usually uh, it's very standalone. This is your endurance competition and right. the winner. As it should community. be. Yeah. I do like that was- comp, though. I liked it, but I just feel like it shouldn't have been an elimination base. Like if you didn't yeah, make it in the first group, you out. Like no. I feel like it should just been whoever. That's what I said. Until they bucket at the like, end. Noel and Janine would have just been stuck back yeah. there until they got out. <laughs> until they got to the thing. <laughs> and so, <sighs> I mean, that's the end of it. And so, I mean, and then yeah, obviously, they could have been uh, the the best man standing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Run it all. And in so one in one go. And then we have so Dwight falls out very quickly. Bless his heart. Um oh, Dwight. <laughs> it always sucks when you see people who go home and they were they had the opportunity to win immunity and they were just like, hey, well, he wasn't even close. But you know, <laughs> when you see it slip from their hands, <laughs> he wasn't even close. Um, so he's out. And here go Jeff talking to these people. I'm like, Jeff, shut up. Why are you talking? What are you guys in here fighting for? What's your inspiration? And so they all going down. Oh, he got, he got Gabe he going. Got him, got him going. Baby, it's like uh, Jeff put a, a Energizer uh, battery in Gabler back. I was like, oh, he's still going. 
still going. Because I'm I mean, doing this for the soldiers that marched on March 37th at 1345 a.m. Okay. Back just in hold, 1942. Just hold, hold a bucket, bro. Just hold a bucket. Then, then it's my dog. I'm doing for my dog's party. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it for the trees that I left back home that I just planted. I'm doing it for my daughter as soon as she walk across the stage to graduate. Yeah, the dedication every minute. This next minute is for, I said, okay, how many more minutes do we have, Jeff? Listen, he was pulling uh, Christian. What season was that? Yeah, 37. Man, Christian, Christian's was interesting though. He tripped me out. But Gabe, I was like, dang, Gabe, come on. Because every he single time. Distraction for sure. He had to, but also, and so... Everybody just wait because I was like, he ain't he ain't getting weak now. One time I've been, I looked at no. him the whole time, and he kept on. Oh, it's getting low. Oh, let me and he wouldn't and he wouldn't rewind it like one or two times. Like, oh, <laughs> he cranked that sucker he back. Said, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> we back in this thing. Anyways, back to the group chat. Like, right, <laughs> Dave, you, and you so, still working out, huh? I'm like, sir, if you don't be quiet this whole time, but you know, I had to give him his prop because. Mm-hmm. Cause you know what he who he remind me of? Who? He remind me of that man from BB King Ten, Marty. He's the older guy, but Marty was uh, eating them young folks up in them physical comps. They couldn't I'm beat Marty. Ew. I'm I know, making... but they both ball. They both got uh, the rule. Whatever. Redacted from BB Redac- <laughs> King. Oh, that that just leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. I, I know, that. but that man was good at comps, y'all, and we it cannot take like that. Cause I'm like, how y'all keep letting Father <laughs> Time? <laughs> Up. Beat y'all in these endurance competitions, father time. Because because he, he was the old person in the house, and we not ages or nothing, but he was just the older person, and he was whooping these 20, 20 years old, and he 50, 60. Okay, he was forty, not but still, <laughs> you know, he nah, looking twenty years. He looking, he looking, he looking sixty two. That's why I get you old. Oh. Hmm. So, anyways, Gabriel won. Because Cody was talking about, I'm waiting for the, for the redemption from the wrestling by that one enough, apparently, because he lost. Gabler wins his immunity. Hold on. And- Did you see the look on Cody's face, though, when he was talking about, like, this is for the veterans and soldiers? Cody was looking like, they ain't letting this go. <laughs> <laughs> and they zoomed in on his face, and I know his thought was like, mm-hmm. I'm about to hold on to the thing until I can't, boy, I could care less what you say. <laughs> <laughs> that was everybody. I was cracking it when they kept. They were paying to the audience face, and they were like, "Like, come on, man, sir." But it seemed like they were a little further away, right? They couldn't hear them stories. Possibly, they couldn't possibly <laughs> hear them stories. So, you know, they could. <laughs> I feel mm. like they could. Who knows? But I will say, too, on the <laughs> aspect of like, um, dang it, when they were like for the competition, what happened? Ah, oh, dang it, y'all said something. I lost my train of thought. I was gonna mention something. Hmm. We're uh, very sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Gabriel wins. He gets his immunity necklace, and we go back to tribal, or we go back to the the camp. And so we have Dwight James Owen, I believe, um, at the well. And James is like, "What's that in the well? There's a bottle in the well." Gets the bottle out. There's something there. There's a powerful advantage waiting for you underneath the shelter. Becky Kemp, can you get it without being caught? I hate that they that was seen like that with everybody. Like, what? We didn't make no difference. Because I'm so annoyed by that. I don't because it didn't like I would have if he didn't do what he did, but since he did what he did, I didn't think it was gonna make a difference. Mm-hmm. And so I was kind of upset with Dwight because, okay, so before we get there, actually, reverse, reverse. We at the camp and we have Noel, we have Jesse, we have Baca and Bessie tribes in the water. And they were like, who we need to take out? We need to stick together. Let's get out Coco. Okay, so who we want from Coco? Ryan and James. Immediately. Why was it so quick? No hesitation. Ryan and James. And no and explanation we- of why either. And so if the goal is Bessie and Baca work together because they've done it in the past. Okay. We still have four members of Coco. So Carla and Cassidy, I love Cass. I mean, I love Carla, so I wouldn't have wanted Carla to go home. But why wasn't Carla in the conversation? Why wasn't Cassidy a part of the conversation? Y'all mm-hmm. just immediately jumped to James and Ryan as the targets? And that's what they were pretty dead set on, right? 
And so they were like, we're just going to throw four on him and four on here just to be safe and call it a day. One of them going home. And I'm already pissed. I'm like, okay. Like so them, huh? One of them, huh? Quote. One of them, huh? <laughs> and so after James discovers the, the, the item, the advantage, he goes and gets it, even though they everybody said they was going to wait to after the tribal. He was like, I ain't waiting after tribal. Heck, I may not be here after tribal, so I'm going to go ahead and get it now Listen. before somebody else do. And so he gets it. It's knowledge, it's power. I guess they were like, dang, Geo flopped with this. He went home with it, so let's throw it back in there. And so he gets the knowledge, it's power. And I'm like, okay, okay, James. But then he started telling everybody about it. And, and I'm somebody, like, somebody home grandparent when he just dang. said that. I'm no. like, oh, I just, I just. <laughs> When do look what it what it is they map love? When do it when do it becomes I just help me I'm looking for I'm trying to find an understanding. What is the reason? What is the reason? <laughs> we can't keep our mouth closed. He didn't win. I thought he was just gonna tell Carla. I was like, okay, you told Carla, that's your bestie. Cool. Then he goes tell Ryan, he tells Cody, he tells everybody they mama, <clears throat> pretty much. Um, and so, and I was kind of, like I said, I was a little mad at Dwight because he went and told Noel that James found something and she told everybody and everybody was telling everybody. And so they were like, oh, well, this is what we needed to get out, James. Let's get out, James. James going home. And he hold got on. Advantage. That right there. They said that this is what we it's, needed to do to I get out. Finally our chance, so huh? they had to find a reason to evict James. Ooh. They already, right there, they already said, oh, yeah, James around. Oh, we well, we need some kind of reason to get rid of them. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. And there it is. Mm. And so there was that. So James is the prime target, right? But here come our girl Carla coming through, clutch as I thought. Clutch. She like, Jesse, come on, let's talk for a little bit. Because you know, they got a little connection. He was like, whatever. So they built a relationship. She was like, Noel got too much power around this camp. It's only room for one queen bee up in here, and it's yeah. got to be me. <laughs> and Noel yes. running around here with too much power. <laughs> we need to chop that up right now. I'm like, okay, look, I'm listening. My, I'm all ears because, yes, let's get out Noel because she is running stuff somehow. And so the plan is let's get out Noel. And Jesse's on board, right? He go tell Cody. Not he pulled out a card. Pulled a smooth card. <laughs> he didn't even let Noel's name get out of Jesse's mouth good before he talking about. I really want Dwight out though. I don't trust Dwight. Dwight. Don't I really don't like Dwight. Dwight don't harm nobody. Dwight be minding his business, bro. The only alternative explanation. That's what it is. Explanation. Basically, ain't gonna say it right. Is that he made it to the final, the last four, four. Um, people standing in the immunity competition so that could have like, been their reason that they said, needed at that time oh he'd been good at all the little puzzles and da, 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 da. okay would you have rather him not been good so y'all could have went back to, I, to the end I say, there'd be a lot of puzzles we might need him um, like it's 20 of us <laughs> so but anyways and so i'm like there you go i said see that's the, that's what i'm talking about i knew from when i called the y'all go back to episode one for this season i said he acted like ricard because he's doing too much on dwight specifically because yeah i don't believe nothing he said he da, 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 da. i said that's the ricard spirit creeping up but i gave him some grace because bessie started winning so we didn't really see much of their tribe so i was like oh i'm cooling off on cody a little bit because you know they tribe is whatever but what's in you gonna come out <laughs> that part <laughs> And that anti black, it jumped out mm. because you immediately shut down the fact that Noel needs to go home. And Jesse, where is your backbone? That's why you won't win this game because you don't have a backbone. I gotta, I know I, I really don't want Dwight going home, but I gotta let Cody feel like you gotta let people feel like they have agency in the game. True, oh. but you also have to think about what's in your best interest. And Dwight is with you. That is a part of your best interest. So you don't have to fight him on it, but you should have been like, this is, I get that, but she's the stronger player who we need to get out first. And we can get Dwight next week is what right. you should have did. Um, and so the fact that you didn't have a backbone and you didn't stand up for somebody supposed to be your boy, I can't, I can't sit with that. I don't like that weak player stuff because no, 
you're gonna let folks like Cody go, he's gonna do what he did to Shank, like Ricard did to Shank. You're gonna look up and you're gonna yep. be able to vote it out. <laughs> gonna be gone, right? You and your tears tattoos that you said you had. And you're right. I re- take everything back. I said them other episodes. You weren't leading nothing. Trees was right. You was the farm boy. You was the one that they had delivering the little packages. And just in case they got caught, you was, was you the one. Was you the one? You weren't leading nothing. Nothing. There weren't no teardrops. There weren't no teardrops. Mm mm. That's Kermit and Martha. <laughs> little high school cane. You wasn't know this. Little elementary. <laughs> Oh, act like, act like he was on narcos or something. No. Oh. Or breaking bad. No, you weren't nobody serious. <laughs> <Bring Shoot. us off. laughs> right. Oh. Got me heated. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so we get to tribal council. And I'm about 90% sure. Outside of spoilers, because I knew Dwight went home, whatever. Mm-hmm. But my mind, if I hadn't known the spoilers, I would have said that I seen that they came up in conversation. But surely, I don't know who was going home, if I'm going to be honest. Had I not had spoilers, I didn't know which one of them was going home. <clears throat> I definitely thought James was out of there. I did, was. too. I really did. And they did them switcheroos, child, so he could not ask for their, their um, That's- turn. I ain't Thank like you. Your Thank idols. you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, because I had to, I almost skipped that in my notes. So after he then told everybody their mama, they were like, ah, we can't. We Cody was like, oh no, I gotta make sure my idol protect because you know I gotta everybody started patty th- throwing in here. You take this over here, I'll take yours. And you when they do that, they run their mouth about who got an idol. Jesus. And so <laughs> Owen takes Noel's still a vote. Janine gives her idol to Dwight and Cody gives his idol to Jesse. And it's like, look, Carla ain't said that she got <laughs> Carla said. Don't nobody know that her baby got nothing. Sealed, nothing. And I so can't wait for to use it. They're gonna be like, <gasps> I hope so she soon this season. I actually just saw a clip right before we recorded um uh, that Carla talked to Gabler about the immunity bracelet she didn't say she had one but what she did was she was like oh i'm hearing about the you know the immunity bracelet people getting the beads and stuff to gabler he was like yeah janine had this this is what she took for me so she could have immunity idol and she was like oh my gosh Lindsay was collecting beads i was collecting some beads but Lindsay took that from me ah, so does that mean that she, she, yeah, she was like so ah. does that mean she gone. She she took the idol like that means she had that's what she had she Baby, had the idol. I love <laughs> bruh Yes, and so Lord. she was covering her track because she recognized she was like everybody talking about these bees. I need to get it set in stone right now that I ain't got nothing because I know people know I was collecting bees, but I needed to be known that I'm the like, bees are needed. Lindsay, right? Look, <laughs> I said that I would lie. She's doing exactly <laughs> what I said I would do. Omg, yes. Carla is giving me all star right now. So I'm so mad that they did not show that in the edit. They spent all their time on that darn challenge when they could have been showing us the strategy. Mastermind strategies, come on. Because, and we've said it, this little raggedy, weird editing is cutting out so much because somebody brought up how, where is this trust between Janine and Dwight come from that she felt comfortable to give her him, her idol? Yeah, where, that was when Owen, that Noel been. felt comfortable to give Owen her still a vote and all that, like, where you is this them go. And so, Oh, go ahead, Kiki. When it comes to the production part, right? So I was on some Reddit page or whatever, and they were talking about how their family member, it was an editor for this season. They don't know Mm -hmm. the outcome or whatever, but they said that this season, the editors chose to edit from the beginning versus editing from behind, from the end of the the end of the season. So the other ones, the reason why the edgic is so good is because they start according they, to the way the way they're written they allegedly make the story work. yeah they they have the whole story and they're making the story fit the winner that's mm-hmm. why versus like, this time it's it's being edited as it goes along goes why because they didn't get the winner they wanted or they <laughs> right oh. right how did you manage to or maybe they were trying this? to get the spoilers maybe oh oh because last week last season it was a complete oh story. maybe it was very much in order we had it down so maybe that's what it that's a good point. But I don't care. The editing has been terrible because also, <laughs> so 
this is another point too because we're missing this and so clearly dwight gets voted out he's blindsided right he's gone a question that i saw and i had too how is it that sammy keeps ending up right in the need to flip the vote right when he need to because he's supposed to be baka vesi strong with them but he flipped how did he know to flip every single time there's a flip he knew to flip what is they're not showing something is not being shown Child. and i'm trying to understand how he knows when to flip every single time hmm. so that's my question and also my other question <laughs> Did Dwight take Janine Ida with him? When he yeah. was home, it's on I the boat with him. I don't know why that tickled me so much. <laughs> it tickled me. Janine was looking like. Wait. I felt like she was low key asking for a bat during trial. <laughs> and and I I I that. That. Go ahead and give me that bat. <laughs> you, you, like, no, you know what would have been ill? I don't know if this has ever happened. You know, y'all, I've only seen like, what, maybe four or five seasons of Survivor. But if this has happened before, I need to go back and I would just literally just watch that episode. But I would love for if this somebody found out about this, you know, ask him if they have the idol, you get it from them. What's it called? The ass knowledge is power. I said the ass for me. <laughs> <laughs> the knowledge is power. I would love if they did the switcheroo and would have been so ill if Dwight used the idol. Janine would have been like. <laughs> No, right. I she wanted him to. Oh, I was like, use the idol, the way you look. I, I wish he wanted. had a hunch that he was truly blindsided. Yes, um, I, I wish use, he had a I'm hunch. Sorry, that he I was wouldn't on the use block. it. Oh, yes. I just, I'm sorry, I would have just yoloed because I'd have been like, okay, they've been doing a lot today. Mm-hmm. I don't have an idol. Janine about to ask me for this idol back as soon as we get back to camp. I came on survival to have these options. I mean, to do these certain things, and there's a bucket list. And one of my things on my bucket list is the idol. I would say I got an idol. Hmm. And you know what? And that would have been maximum chaos. Because oh, I would have loved to see him that. using an idol. First of all, she would have been pissed. But when it came to that vote, they would have been like, "Oh my god! Like you just saved like our alliance that we had. You kept it intact. Ooh, Maybe wow. you know, um, James probably." No, if no, we, Ryan. I mean, would he? Did Ryan have more votes or James had more votes? Ryan had two. I thought Ryan had the fewest. I'm uh, not Ryan. James had the fewest. Oh, okay. So well, Ryan would have I remember won. when they was reading the votes, and then I think they they had put like four, and James was like, "Yeah, like I'm good. Like it don't even matter because yeah. I'm out of six. Okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> that's right. You're right. You're right. So, but I remember Ryan, that look. He was like, "Yeah, I'm good." So I might have would have been okay. I would have been okay with Ryan leaving. I wouldn't have because he shouldn't have been. I would have much rather been messing up if Ryan went home. I'd have been like, "Sorry, Ryan." <laughs> I would have been okay with Dwight staying because then Jesse, you got some explaining to do. Cody, you got some explaining to do, and Sammy, you got some explaining to do, and that would have put them in some hot water and maximum chaos. Um, and so I would—he should have used it. I really wanted to. So now he gone. Now Janine, sis, ain't got nothing. <laughs> ain't got Nan Idol. Watch them give her a comeback with. story, though. That's why I'm having a feeling. You know, her girl they went. Ain't using Janine too much camera time for me. That's what I'm saying. It's a comeback story, bro. Why? She gonna get to the final. She ain't gonna win probably, why? but she I gonna get to the so. final. I think so. I'm not seeing winner in her, but I definitely seeing final. She definitely trying to give her a personal a five at least. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. going into the next, the next, almost to the next chapter, the next episode. I see her and Kat said, well, we got to have each other's back. Okay, I'm going to have your back. We're going to stick together. Da, 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 da. Um, that's going on. We got Sammy. Like I said, he all over the place. So maybe that's why he's such a good place and he can flip because he got connections all over the darn island. Sammy may end up, if it ain't Gabler, Sammy going to end up winning this darn game is what it's looking like if it ain't Gabler. Um, so it's going to be, it's something to watch. My interest is peaked, but I'm pissed. So pissed. Yeah, so are we. Because... Why? Why is it us every single time? People always say, "Why you gotta bring race into it?" Because y'all bring it into it. Look, it's when literally... I have a downtime, I pr- I'm gonna do the research. I'm gonna watch a series of. I need a sample set, and I'm gonna watch <laughs> the first episode of every elimination show, however many elimination shows, mm-hmm. and we're gonna do a tally, and we're gonna see if it's just in our heads. Or is it statistically accurate that that right. like, black people or people of color are gone first? Yep. I just I just don't I don't understand it. Like there was legit no reason 
beforehand. Like, why was nobody ever an op? Nobody else was an option. Even when they flipped the vote and didn't go with the James or Ryan, whatever. Why wasn't nobody else talk like? And that's what I'm saying. And that even comes down to the even if there's something that we missing, make the storyline make sense if it is. And it seems like there's no storyline to make sense in this situation because we just gonna put the black people on the block because we don't connect with them, whatever. They're expandable. Dwight going home made no sense to me. No, nope. none. And it was anti-black when his her got caught in that. <laughs> I just had to say that. Oh my god! He said my poor locks came from my head. Head. Yeah. Getting caught but he up. got out. But listen, but the girls were saying it too, and I was like, well. <laughs> uh, so I just, and we've had this conversation time and time again. I'm just like, I'm over it. I'm over it. And yeah, uh, so. nobody's saying we need a free pass to the end. That's not what we're saying. But we're I'll, saying I it. would like a free pass to the end. <laughs> <laughs> free said reparations. Okay, I'm not saying we gotta win, but put us in final three. <laughs> Trees is hilarious. And, <laughs> and call note. me crazy. Oh, I was gonna say call me crazy. I said, but I feel like this is repercussion since they saw last season. They were like, mm, that whole Marianne and Drea thing, that whole thing, the way they did the conversation with Jonathan and all that stuff about <laughs> Chanel and um old dude Roxroy getting sent home. They were like, mm-mm. All them need to be on the block because we taking one of them out of here. <laughs> we, we ain't having this problem no more. That's that we're not doing that. And so I don't know. We can talk about this forever because it's, just, it's a problem. It needs to be addressed. I don't know. Again, we can have this wonderfully diverse <laughs> cast, but yet these problems still persist, and I don't know what it's gonna take. Let's see which um black man is in trouble next week. Okay. <laughs> Tune in for next week. <laughs> now they know oh, they all know James got the knowledge is power, so. It's right, I'm sure he's and he ain't got no power. He ain't got no power because he don't know where nothing at. So <laughs> right. they gonna still send him why? Still send him oh, because you have the knowledge of power. But he y'all know it's ineffective because he would have right. to take a, a guess and he don't yeah, know where I nothing is at. Yeah, I wonder if everybody gonna because he still has this power. I wonder if everybody's gonna get back their idols to who they go to if they're gonna keep them until after he uses it. That'll be interesting to find figure out. We'll see what they say. Mm, I yeah. would have did. Listen, and this is closing. If I'm me, look, if I'm me too, if I see somebody else, I know they in the switch because they told who they went, they stepped to. If I'm Janine, I'm saying Cody gave his, I'm going to tell James, Back. Cody gave Here his is. idol to I was just Jesse. So, and I'm going to be keeping you in mind to see where they switch it to. Take it from Jesse. Exactly. I'm like, and look, we go now, Cody. Look, bro, I know you know I got an idol. And I know you got the knowledge is power. Cody got Janine Idol. So and so got some. I'm gonna just let you know that. Mm -hmm. You hear this from me. And then I go and walk off to the way and get my little water. <laughs> and so when everybody y'all shocked the stuff, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like, oh my god. Knowing I orchestrated it. How did he know? Psychic. Yep. Come on here, survivor players. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Our time is far spent. Mm -hmm. um, but we hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, we hope you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bells on YouTube, as well as on your places where you listen to your podcast so that you can be alerted every time a new episode <coughs> drops. Until next time, bye! Bye! bye, bye, bye. <laughs>